A patient will oftentimes have been complaining of vision loss for some period of time. Oftentimes they've gone to see other doctors who sometimes have very easily figured out what was going on and told them a diagnosis, but many times have not been able to figure out exactly what's going on because uh, as ophthalmologists we're able to look at the retina and sometimes we're able to see changes very clearly. But other times we're not able to identify exactly what's going on because even with our best diagnostic to, or even with our best examination techniques, we can't always determine how the person's vision is being affected. So I will ask patients a lot of questions about how their vision is being affected in their life. I'll ask them about their central vision and their peripheral or side vision. I'll ask about color vision, difficulty with vision at night, sensitivity to bright lights, difficulty going from a brightly lit place into the dark or going from a dark place into bright lights. And depending on the constellation of complaints, then I'll ask about how long it's been going on and over what rate of time things have been changing for them. I'll ask about how it's impacting their ability to function in their world and how it's affecting their life, their job, their relationship to other people. Um, I ask a lot of questions about their family because retinal degenerations are inherited. We need to know as much as we can about other family members. We need to know about brothers and sisters, parents, aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents. We need to know if any of those people has had any vision problems that cannot be corrected with glasses. Another important question is to know whether there's any connection between the families of the mother and the father. Because sometimes in many patients case when a disease is being inherited in a recessive fashion, there is an unknown connection between the families that was not previously realized. Um, then I'll examine the patients, I'll check their vision as most ophthalmologists would do and perform a regular complete eye examination. Based on what I find, I'll oftentimes uh, recommend additional tests. The, uh, some of the mainstays that we re rely upon heavily uh, include visual field testing, uh, electroretinographic or ERG testing, uh, measures of retinal thickness such as OT OCT. With high resolution OCTs, we can oftentimes see very subtle changes of the layers of the retina where the vision cells reside. Um, sometimes we can identify reasons for central vision loss that are not able to be diagnosed any other way. Sometimes there's very subtle swelling or macular edema or very subtle scar tissue on the surface of the retina, an epiretinal membrane that can really only be best identified with uh, an OCT test. Sometimes, depending upon what the diagnosis is likely to be, we, and depending on the family history, we will talk about the possibility of sending blood for genetic testing. Some diseases have, uh, are, so some retinal degenerations are associated with specific genetic defects for which genetic testing is readily available. Um, sometimes on a fee-for-service basis, sometimes on a research basis. So depending on what the disease is, if there's a readily available genetic test available, I will talk to the patient to find out whether they would be interested in obtaining more information about genetic testing or ha sending their blood to be tested to try and identify genetic mutations associated with that disease.